All right, Dickhead, so I've made it to LA and I've managed to track down the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Steve fucking Kennedy, who, if you don't fucking know, then you can fuck off, because for me, mech mods and, and quality high-end RDA started with this fucking here. Uh, I've been buying Kennedy products for years, and it's an absolute fucking honor to finally meet the man behind that, so, uh, thank you for having me. Well, thanks for coming, yeah? Good shit. Well, we're thanks gonna go check out by. the shop, aren't we? Yeah? Let's go do that. All, All right, right, let's have Good a look. So that making atomizer it does one side and it grabs it, does the other side, and that's it. Puts the uh bar there. So 12 foot bars will go in here, there's none in there now. But okay, that's what you're choosing. It'll just automatically load it. Oh, you just keep loading the atomizer. And then right make it making eddies. And then you got your base there. Four nail squirters. Okay. Put it in. There's another insulator that goes in the bottom. Getting it all right. Getting it all right so it snapped together. Can you see it now? Easy. It is. It's actually hard because you don't want it to pop out. Yeah. It's probably not even a good one. Oh, there it is. And then you're, yeah. you're done. No hardware, no screws, no. That was a trick. But just getting it all to fit and work and fuck you. And then the doors are really the bitch, but they kind of just want to rattle, so I don't love it. Yeah. I love it, but I don't want to make it. But the, uh, the idea, like, for the box mod with this machine, is you do it all at one shot. We hold it by the bottom, just to yeah. grab it and finish all the five down. sides. Perfect. Otherwise, you take it, do one, flip it over, do another one, then you got to do the top. Everything would be. See, yeah. align it as well. It would never be exactly like yeah. this. I can come and take 
2000s off the corner and give her, you know, because I'm right there, it knows exactly where it is. Yeah. yeah. So that's the reason for that. And you know what? Yeah. We all started out on all these, doing everything on one route, and we that piece. Yeah. Turn it on the way, then go to the mill, then go to another mill, and then turn it over. And fucking nice. I mean, probably 8,000 of them like that. But then before I got one of these, and then with this one, I got one, you got to take out, look for another thing. 8,000 times. Oh, yeah. Wow. Maybe more than that. Ah, wow. Please do everything in one shot. Uh -huh. Same, this is just the bar feeder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this yeah. This will the bar, but I'm talking about these machines. You can add. Yeah. They'll run. they do everything. Get it out done. It takes you a while to get the program right, but as soon as I bought one, I had five within a year. He grabs it, makes one, finishes it, goes over and grabs it, cuts it off, comes over here and starts finishing the bottom, and then it makes another one. And as long as you don't break a tool or wear one out, it'll run. 24-7. Are those individual water streams that come down? Yeah, they're all adjustable. Yeah, yeah. So, so oh, you know, is that a cool end? Cool that's just chips they gotta get moved. Yeah, but yeah. Each one you can just put them wherever you want. So <laughs> get fucking head out of the way, huh? It's also got, uh, I don't know why, that's just enough. It's been running for a minute. But yeah, it's all recirculating. You're cutting in oil so the finish is better. That's it. Running the cap. Finished though. Comes out, done. Great. Yeah. Nice. Right. Yeah. What's up? Really clear. The straps and Those right there. there. Truth be known, you shouldn't be making strings like that. So I'm gonna have to get in there and edit something. Yeah, yeah. Either there's a broken drill bit or something's making a weird string right now. I just stopped it. Normally, this is how it would be. These just started coming out. Really, it's should be like that, you know, just smaller. That's what I mean. Yes, it will. This is a conveyor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because those strings, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be. All of a sudden, you come in and be a red light on it. That would have grabbed and so no, not bad. I buy material. I don't buy. I'll buy from Italy. I'll buy from all these regular countries. But you won't buy but from. I will not buy a Chinese material to put in my base. I like that. The screws, same thing. You could get them for a third of the cost, but I would rather spend that little bit extra. It's not yeah. killing you. Totally. It's, yeah, you're like saying another two dollars for the whole price, you're gonna cry. Same with the material, you know, this 3 OG stainless doesn't always shine up. We have to get we only buy it in Italian for the for the stainless because it's the best one that we found. Old school machines. Crazy big legs. Here we are, man, at work. What's going on, dude? Good, man, you? Just chilling, seeing old shit. Yeah. yeah. Pipes in, pipes out. Yeah, and I'm just trying to clean up the gangs, you know what I mean? They're not shiny. Okay. Just been sitting there for a minute, so I'm just cleaning them up a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, got them looking good. Check shit out, try my ideas, do so all like that. digital calipers on everything, basically? Oh my, it depends how close you want to no, no, I don't like digital. Is it the equivalent of having like calipers? It's like you, yeah. instead of having dials oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. and yeah. reading this, which is really accurate, but like that, I can set 50 tools in it and yeah. do production or whatever. But it's just a catalog. It's super precision, it's super accurate. And Sold this place, he said I'd give you five million to the place. <laughs> and I walk out, I go right five million minus that machine. Okay. I would only want to keep this. I would never let it go. Yeah.